Hey, hey, we're out running a short run uh, after my magnificent fall last week. <laughs> but we're still training for coast to coast. It's getting so much closer. We have some winter gear to share with you today. So stick around, we'll see you in a bit. Hey, hey everybody, thanks for joining us. Yes, we ran today. We're going to talk about that briefly, but then we're going to introduce you to all the stuff that was recommended to us to have for the winter here. Some of them we're just kind of doing on our own. Yeah. But Nobody here has really recommended some of these items. Well, but. but most of them. Most of them in conversation, you know. We will, we will yeah. tear that apart as we so, work through our pile that's yeah, right here. Yeah. So we ran uh, four uh, miles today. Yeah. So yeah. we had another off week, which is fine. Yeah. As you recall, uh, David was healing up. Mm -hmm. He's a little bruised, mm -hmm. a little scuffed up still. A little swollen. Uh, a little swollen still. And, and doesn't feel right. as of today's run, still in some pain mm -hmm. in the knees. I guess his knees hit a little harder than we originally thought. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so. Well. But it's okay, we ran four miles. We actually we uh, uh, had a, a pretty good pace. We did. Uh, considering we uh, ran up a mountain and then back down. We did, yeah. but it was flat-ish yeah. in places. Yeah. Um, and no thing, trail. We did. We did not do a trail. No trail. But where we lived, it was still a dirt road. Yeah, it so was, it was, it's yeah. what uh, when we used to live in the city, we would call a trail. Yeah, right. But now we just call road. Road. <laughs> yeah, right. What a different life. But it was really. all right. It was a good pace. It was good. Um, you know, kind of an off week, but uh, mm -hmm. our breathing is better. It's better. Uh, there's it's a better. there's a big storm brewing. It's coming in, and so it was quite windy, which it, kicked up a lot of dust. Yeah, and, uh, we're both like a little phlegmy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, storm's brewing. Mm -hmm. Like tomorrow, we're going to see our first uh, northern New Mexico snow, Ooh. apparently. Ooh. Uh, we're really? very excited. We are. We are. Uh, everybody's been telling us it's, it's a powdery snow, so we'll see. And we're going to share with you, uh, obviously, uh, uh, next week, what happens tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, but with that in mind, we promised, so here we go, we have some gear. Some is... I don't think any of it is running. 
I don't, I don't think anything is running related. No, none of it's related. just uh, life change related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, for example, uh, we have a de-icer that we bought. And we bought it from Chewy because it's pet safe. The house came with some um, de-icer. And when I looked at the bottle, it said not safe for children or pets. So I figured... The only place we're going to be de-icing is where we need Millie to go outside, yeah, basically. Right. So uh, we got some pet-friendly de-icer. While we were at it, we also bought some Musher's Secret, which uh, is a little wax balm thing that we're going to put on her pads uh, because Millie, like us, has never experienced this extreme weather. Okay. So um, as well... Uh, Little, protect her yeah. from the cold mm -hmm. and the snow and salt and de-icer yeah. and whatever, yeah. but also um, give her a little bit of grip. So if we hit some ice, hopefully yeah. she'll be okay. Yeah. So, so we, we got, got that. We got some of that. Now, uh, because there will be snow, we have, let's see if I can get this to you. Oh my gosh, it's covered in dog hair. Yeah, a snow shovel. Ooh. Also came with the house. Came we, didn't, the house. we didn't buy that one, but we're about to use it. To be so, honest, that's the third time I've ever touched a snow shovel, and it was this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I'm gonna be doing some uh, some cross training. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so that's that. Snow yeah. is your big snow purchase. So, also covering dog hair. Yeah, I wonder why. Millie got some snow pants. Snow pants, a little reinforced knee, mm -hmm. some zippies all over the place. Yeah. I don't know. They look great. You know, snow pants. Gotta have snow pants, so yeah. I've got my snow pants. I tried to find some this week. We went to uh, one of our local mm -hmm. ski shops, shops. and um, I did not have any luck. I tried one size and it was like absurdly small, and mm -hmm. I tried the next size up and it swallowed me whole, and all of them made me look like Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, so I <laughs> was not pleased with any of them. Uh, yeah, you didn't see them, but trust me, it was bad. So I'm going to have to figure out something there, and I haven't figured it out yet. Well, I was looking for a coat, and I thought I found one, and it actually fit, but I didn't want to pay $600 for it. However, yeah. however, uh, true story, a really, really nice neighbor who doesn't spend the winters here uh, told us one day, well, you know, you guys, you're, you're going to be here for the winter. You need a good coat. You know what? I have one. And we don't stay here for the winter, so he dropped this off. We got a coat from Norm door. down the street. Yeah, so thank you, Norm. Yeah. Really, really nice. I uh, yeah. wore it today, and I got too hot. So yeah. awesome, awesome winter coat. It was so nice of Norm to do that. It was. He also dropped off uh, oh, with yeah. the coat. He he was the one who recommended like a little wax thing for uh, Millie's uh, paws. So I ended up... It's trying to focus on my stupid face. <laughs> I was focusing on my stupid face. He gave us this stuff as well, Cat which is very sweet. Yeah. Um, so we'll be we'll be trying out this in conjunction with mm -hmm. Musher's Musher's Secret. Both for Millie. Um, so thank you, Norm. Um, another thing, this was actually a present for David's birthday that was a few weeks ago that um, <clears throat> is kind of my style. I give David a gift and say, I'm gonna make this for you. So I love it. I gave him some, some fabrics, some flannel fabrics that I will be making shirts out of for him. So, and this one's cut up, I've already started. Look Ooh, at me go. Look at you, already using Less than Ooh, two show, weeks after your show, birthday, show, I'm already, show, uh, show. we have one that's oh, Christmassy man. animal I am theme. psyched about so, new clothes. Flannel, to make flannel shirts, because they really are a lot warmer than all of our t-shirts that we came here with. Yeah. So. So that's a uh, part of our winter gear. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, another gift I got from uh, my wonderful niece is a, a, a nice cardigan. Oh, cardigan. Yeah, it's, it's nice. And classic. the sleeves actually fit me. If you've met me, you know why I'm shocked whenever sleeves uh, fit me. So this was pretty nice. This is another part of the uh, winter ensemble. Yep. Yep. You're also working on something else. <laughs> this, so yeah, this along, is awesome. along that same trend of saying here is a craft supply of a gift that I'm going to give you. Um, I started a scarf for David in like 2017. How many years ago was that? Um, it's not done yet, but I've been making some serious progress on it lately. So, um, 
you know, he's, he's going to have a scarf real soon. Real soon. We're getting there. I love it. So ironically, not ironically, what's the right word? Interestingly enough, mm. I started making it and then I was like, why did I do this with such a tight stitch? This is going to take me a million years to finish, which it did or is. Um, and we live in Texas. We don't even need something that warm. Nobody wears scarves. Huh? I wore scarves, but they weren't like well, this kind of scarf that we're going to need here. Just because you put something around your neck doesn't make it a scarf. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's going to be nice and warm. No air is going to get through it because it's a tight crochet stitch right <laughs> yeah. there. So anyway. All right. Seven years later. Eight. Six. Huh? Six. Six? Yeah. Six years later. I think it was a Christmas gift. Okay. <laughs> six years later. He's going to have a scarf real soon. Perfect timing. <laughs> real soon. Um, another thing, I just happened to jump onto Costco because we're running low on some supplies. Um, and they were having this clothing sale where if you spent, no, if you bought like 10 items or something, you got $70 off it. So I found packages of uh, uh, fleece lined um, like base layer pants and shirts and i got us all stocked up and i saved us 70 dollars yeah, on yeah. stuff that we're gonna need yeah right now we've actually been wearing them all week and they're wonderful yeah they're fantastic so yeah. uh you know thermals <laughs> yeah don't that's one of the things didn't really need them before that's one of the things that somebody tried to tell us we wouldn't need these people are from Mon montana originally okay <laughs> yeah. and so uh yeah. we were like uh yeah i think we're gonna need those yeah we're definitely gonna need. We this. we will need. And, and it actually got pretty. Long underwear. Well, it got it got down to the thirties uh, this week, and wearing these is like, oh man, what a huge difference! So that's pretty cool. It's gonna be like single digit teens tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, so I we'll know. see how they do. So then. we'll see. But but as you as you can tell, we have some supplies, and then we decided. This was another one that nobody told us we would need, but we decided we would yeah. need because this house is cold. Absolutely. Oh. We got an electric blanket, queen size. It'll fit on our bed, dual control, so we can each set however long we want it to stay on. Just get so, it like nice and toasty, let it turn off and go to sleep. So when it gets down to so, four, we're gonna we're gonna really love our electric blanket. Yeah. Oh, and then you know we mentioned uh, gaiters mm -hmm. uh, before, so check out Laura putting on her gaiters. So uh, it's, they're there, you know, we were told, look, you're gonna go snowshoeing. You do not wanna ruin your outing by having snow get in your pants, down your socks, in your shoes. So the gators are supposed to uh, prevent that from happening. So mm -hmm. mine uh, arrive on Monday and uh, okay. we'll be all set for that because uh, snowshoeing is gonna start soon. I, mean, I don't know when it's going to start. Yeah, we have no so idea. So our resort here, the ski mountain doesn't even open until like mid-December. Mm -hmm. So even though it's going to snow soon, it's going to be a while before we get enough snow to right. do stuff like that. Right. So it'll probably be like a winter proper, like after the 21st of December kind uh, of yeah. uh, activity. But we'll see. I don't know. We don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. Who we knows? We have no idea. Right. So th this will know. be our first ever real snow uh, uh you know, mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's telling us it's beautiful, it's great. Uh, so I think we are sort of ready. I think we'll we'll do okay. I think we'll be all right. Mm. I mean, uh, we just picked up a, a bunch of kindling from our uh, <laughs> front yard today. Yeah. Uh, getting ready because uh, we're going to have to start uh, doing fires in the uh, cast iron. Which we were doing for a while, but then it warmed up a little bit. Yeah. So we'll get back to that, but it may be to a point now where they're going to be rolling all day long. Yeah. The fires and yeah. stuff so just in the evening. So, yeah. So we learned, uh, we've already learned a lot about kindling and about uh, dried up pine cones and how great that is. And oh man. So that's our, uh, our winter gear haul. Uh, the some dark clouds coming. Yeah. Huh? Some really dark clouds yeah. coming. So the snow's coming. So be with us next week and you'll get to see, uh, you know, what happens. Yeah. Uh, and the other exciting thing is, oh my gosh, we are about 10 days out from having to make reservations for the big marathon weekend. Yeah, we've actually, we spent some time today like trying to figure out what we're going to do because, um, you know, as we've mentioned, as if you've been watching, you're aware, we've moved. Our lives are totally different. Yeah, we're we different. haven't had time to think about a vacation. Yeah. So we realized that we're getting really close to like that 60 day mark for the Disney World portion of our trip. So uh -huh. we're trying to
to figure out what we're going to be doing every day. Mm -hmm. um, we have some absolutely wonderful friends that we're going to spend time with, mm -hmm. uh, wonderful friends that we're going to get to see, mm -hmm. uh, if only for a little bit. And so we, we just, oh man, yeah. we're almost there. So we we're to, trying to figure out like where yeah. we want to get dining reservations, yeah. what parks we want to do, mm -hmm. what we want to, what we want to do. Yeah. So we're figuring that out right now. And that's been exciting because we haven't thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we let us know how your planning is going. Let us know uh, what you think and uh, what what you what you're gonna do. Uh, we we are just like, man. There's so much stuff going on. Mm -hmm. It is always an adventure with you. Remember, every week we do our best to upload. So join us next week. You might see some snow. And let us know how you're doing. Until then, see ya.